part of our studio audience for this online television show, Hollywood Dream Roll! <laughs> what you will see tonight is a Hollywood blockbuster on this stage. But we're gonna create it with no set, with no budget, and with no script. No. <laughs> it can be done. Maybe. We'll find out tonight. We couldn't have a Hollywood blockbuster if we didn't have a Hollywood star. So, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Martov! <laughs> Chicago and nine, it's always like so dramatic and like, you know. I, I, I want a, I want a light romantic comedy musical. Kind of thing. All right, I think that's what this audience wants. With a deep yeah! something. something that makes you feel good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we need to get some stuff from you guys. Uh, so to start off with, it's a romantic comedy. Uh, what's a reason two people are completely incompatible to be together? Sex. Sure. <laughs> But, but be more specific. Religion. Uh, religion bro <laughs> brother, sister, not inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, S status, status is good. Not in a politics. Not in a politics. Money. Money. Money, money's money. a good one. Money. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> what was that? Scary mother-in-law. Scary mother-in-law. Once make-believe. Once make-believe. <laughs> I'd love All right. 
All right, so he's with his imaginary friend. And, uh, all right, so uh, now look over here, and I want you to choose um, your uh, your buddy. This is your buddy, your slightly inappropriate best friend. Yeah. It could be guy or girl. Slightly so inappropriate best friend. Uh, but uh, that's got to be Ruben. Yeah, I'm inappropriate. <laughs> and we see kids playing everywhere. And then uh, over in the corner, uh, we pass all the kids. Over in the corner, there's uh, one kid. Uh, it's Joe Rambo. And uh, yeah, he's over in the corner. And uh, he's, a, he's not a cool kid. He's like, this is when he's a kid. This is before he's grown into his own. Yeah, he has no friends. No one likes him. Uh, so some other kids kind of come up and pick on him and run by. And then finally, a very strange character appears to him. Uh, all right, action. I think you're stinky. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
you talk to me and stuff. I can talk to you, because, uh... Here they come, she needs one. Hey, who are you talking to? Maybe talking to his shit. <laughs> Your shit butt face. <laughs> Talk. Someone wants a beat down. You, yeah, you, you, you had your mom want a yeah, beat down. You want a beat down with your mom and stuff. <laughs> I'm just coming back here to get a running start. Well, you better hit me a better. <gasps> that didn't hurt at all. Okay. alcoholic mom. <laughs> right, so you're going to come in with Shaniqua in a second. You're going to enter. Uh, and <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right. And action. a good opportunity for a song. on the screen that say 20 years later, boom, like that. And uh, we go to an office building, and uh, Eric, go ahead and get all fancied up with the sunglasses. Now you're fancy and important. And uh, yeah, you don't remember Chiniqua anymore. That was long ago. She's gone. So these are all the people in the office uh, who work uh, with Joe Rambo. You're all afraid of him because he's such a bastard, a high-powered executive bastard. Uh, all right, and action. Big Dean, that high-powered bastard. 
boozes are drowning. What, what sorrows are you drowning anyway? How can I help you? I'm, I'm so a successful guy. I want to help you. Are you successful, Rinnebo? Are you successful? Because it seems like you have a great career. But when was the last time you got laid? When was the last time, huh? Oh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> See those two Persian whores over there? Yeah, I see the two Persian whores. I've been looking at the two Persian whores all night. I bet with your charm and a little bit of Chester involved, you can go up there and have your way with them. Yeah. You just gotta be confident and be good looking and confident like me. Chester. <laughs> Chester the molester, huh? That's right. <laughs> Boom! So listen, let me give you some tips on some women. Because girls like it when you're not interested in them and you're an ass or you're taken. So you can do two routes. You can say one, you're married, and then boom, you got them in the sack. Or two, you could just be like, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> just go up to a girl, a hot girl, and be like, I'm busy. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you get in the sack. Because because man, you're like bringing down my screw. Just, just, oh, I got money. I got success. Yeah, I got you got my money. Job. You got success. What? I don't what? have anyone to share it with, Chester. And exactly. I don't understand what's wrong. I'm doing everything life is supposed to tell okay. me to do. You see that? You see that skate over there with the glasses? Yeah, I see the skate okay. with the glasses over there. Okay. <laughs> I, think she, I think she used to work for me, actually. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is the here. The guy she's with is obviously gay. So just go up and like get involved and just do some. Do some Rambo magic. Get in there and shoot it out. All right, shoot it out. I got it. Shoot it out. That's right. You're my man. You're my son. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Go on. Go on. I got your back. Go on. I got your back. All right. Yeah. All right. throughout the night where they're getting more and more drunk and it just gets crazier and crazier and they're like they're out on the field and they're driving a car really fast and all sorts of crazy stuff happens just imagine you've seen it um, and then uh, uh, he wakes up uh, and he's lying on a, a park bench yeah on a park bench and uh, okay, oh hey park bench all right and uh, Shanique was there she's not happy with how he turned out all right and action Yes, but an ass! 
still left and they're all still afraid. They're afraid of Joe showing up and uh, Joe shows up with Shaniqua and uh, uh, we see that she causes problems in his professional life because that's dramatically interesting. <laughs> and action. Celebrate my love with a dance. Even though you're wearing pants. <laughs> I'm in love with Shirley She wears a coon hat, no scum. She's got some in the trunk, and I like it. Someone like her, she's out there. You just gotta look. You gotta stop being in the bathroom. Backing off with that adult book. <laughs> I'm the boss. I know everything, and I know I'm in love with Shaniqua. We're on a moped headed towards heaven and fantasy land. And Carol, when you find that special person, you don't have to be an asshole anymore. Because when your heart is full, your soul is full. And now it's time for your chest to be full. I don't know what that means, but I do that. So uh, this is like a big boss. So Barry, you're the big boss. All right, or unless there's some, yeah, the big boss. And there's a, a doctor here, uh, a psychiatrist, and uh, they call Joe in because he's been acting so crazy. All right, and action. scans, uh, which I took in my psychiatrist's office, and I'm sorry to tell you, I've already informed your boss about this, but you have a brain tumor. That's right. Have you noticed anything odd lately? Any nope. weird things that you've seen? What about the fartmobile? <laughs> 
No, 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 no. Uh, huh. But strange, usually with this kind of tumor, you see, I don't know, silly characters. Well, yeah, sure, a girl, why not? Or, you know. Is it a purple dress with a skunk hat? Oh, well, it's usually not that specific, but yeah. <laughs> Imagine it's a bed. All right, <laughs> and action. Sorry. Come in. Did you have your abortion yet? <laughs> Come in. Justin, the molester, how you doing? Oh man, buddy, you look, you look great. Here, here, let me set you up a little bit. Oh God. Where's the they got me. It's not a thing. Jess. She was my girl. She was the only girl I've ever had. And she's going to be gone in a couple of hours. Alice is inside. Oh. Hey. What's up, Miss Rambo? <laughs> I borrowed this. Call <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Hi, Mom. See you. so long ago when you discovered that little imaginary girl her eyes just lit up her heart got so big I saw you become the man that I hoped you would be now I know that the doctor says you're gonna die if you don't have this <laughs>
Molly. And then you're gonna start to, to connect. I'm gonna be have fine. a fit. I'm gonna be fine. You take your knives and your scalpels and you give someone else an abortion today. Fit out. Fit out. No fit out. It's not over. Let's get the green screen out. Uh, let's see a montage of him and Shaniqua doing stuff together. until he's almost gone, and now he's dying. This is his death scene. Yeah. Sing a song that doesn't use the word abortion. <laughs> I'll never have a miscarriage. <laughs> oh, keep things in proportion. We've always been in proportion. Thank you, ma'am. 
Yo, who did you just say thank you to right now? Suri said thank you to me. Are you retarded? <laughs> color of her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it from a guy who was swinging some nunchucks outside. Yeah? Yeah. You hear that? Nunchucks. Remember I used to tell you about a nunchuck? I smell like a skunk. It was kind of disgusting. Something smells really, really good right now. <gasps> what do you Ooh. mean? <laughs> fade out! Fade out! Fade out! A bunch of photos from their wedding during the credits. Ladies and gentlemen.